first things first, I bought these little acacia wood bowls at Home Goods. Okay. These came from, I'm going to push that back just a smidge. These came in like a three or four pieces in a bag for like 10 bucks. Okay, so I got two sets. I got the little round ones that have a really nice depth. And what you want is them to have some depth. Uh, the, this bowl that I had was also too, it doesn't really have a flat bottom. It didn't have enough bottom for uh, the colors to sit separately. Okay, so I went ahead and got this set, which has lots of bottom. And then this one is really a nice bowl too. And if we have any leftover, we'll do this. Otherwise, we'll save it for if we have a boo-boo, we'll come back and try again tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna use the big one for now. Hopefully I've mixed enough or I've made enough. I have gone ahead and poured out three quarters uh, ounce of each hardener and the resin. Yeah, you could do this in any type of little bowl. Even, hey, Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia Zeman. How are you, boo-boo? Um, doesn't have to be the wood, but I just picked these up because they were super cheap. I'm thinking they were like four-ish to a pack for like nine bucks or something, $9.99 maybe. So I've got three quarters of ounce, three quarters of ounce. So that's one and a half total ounces. And I'm hoping that's going to fill up our bowl nicely. Again, we have two blues and a white that we're going to use to tint our resin with. And I brought some little thingies to put in it as well. I bought some little baby starfish, a couple of little seashells, some stones, a little piece of sea glass, and it wouldn't be me if I didn't throw a little bit of glass in there now, would it? So we're gonna be trying to add those to one end of our um, little boat or our, our little dish. Now something else you could do too is mix up a little sand in some Elmer's glue and just add some to maybe the whole bottom of your dish or at least on the beach side area. I kind of didn't have time to get that worked out, so we're just gonna go with what we got here. Uh, but you could totally um, mix up a little bit of sand with a little bit of Elmer's glue, just to make like a paste almost, and just kind of add that to e even the entire bottom. Uh, Judy, somebody gave me these, aren't they cute? Somebody gifted these little starfish to me. So, hey Coopers. Hey, Matt and Richard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dump my resin into my other cup and start mixing so we can get this party started. So I have three quarters ounce of hardener. We'll put it in this cup. Make sure you get it all out of each cup so that you don't have uh, more of one than the other. So do a really good job of getting that all out. So we'll toss that. I would add, Jill, I would add the sand and glue first. Let it dry and then do this part, okay? Just let it dry up some. Um, now I'm gonna add the resin and we're gonna mix this for three minutes. And we, I'll answer questions while we're mixing that. So if anybody has a question, when I say go, <laughs> and, and keep in mind too that my iPad is about 30 seconds delayed from my phone. So if I don't answer your question immediately, give me a few seconds to let my iPad catch up and we will get your question answered. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this and don't just, don't beat it. Don't like whip it to death. You want to mix really nice and slow. Hey, everybody. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Deb. Hey, Jill. Hey, Denise. So, hey, Ellie. Uh, you are Rima. So, uh, mix nice and slow so you're incorporating as minimal bubbles as you can. Uh, the faster you mix and whip it, the more air bubbles you're going to get. So, mix it slow. Scrape your sides, scrape your bottom, and we're gonna do this for three minutes. <laughs> so 
Somebody thought that was funny. So anybody who has a question about what we're doing, and I'm going to stick this one right here so you kind of have an example of kind of what we're doing. Um, hey, Karen. Hey, Christine. Hey, Linda. Hey, Louise. So uh, let me know if you have a question, and I will try to get that answered in a timely manner as long as it's in the next three minutes, I guess. So again, the bowls came from Home Goods. Uh, I've seen them at, what, TJ Maxx, that kind of store as well. Um, <clears throat> they were super cheap, like four of them were like 10 bucks or so. 9.99 is what I wanna say. And uh, I got all three of these shapes. Uh, four of these, four of these, four of these. Yes! Thank you, Karen, for the tip. Karen says you can get the baby starfish at Oriental Trader. Hey, JJ. Hey, Deb. How are you? Hello, Brenda. Hey, Joy. How are you today? So we're mixing up about an ounce and a half of resin, and then we're going to split it into separate cups and uh, tint each one of them a different color. Again, I'm using acrylics because the, this I did with the alcohol inks and the colors were uh, just reflecting the underneath the dark bottom of the um, wood bowl and I want the color to pop out. So we're gonna use acrylics in our resin in lieu of alcohol inks, which are translucent. So, when this keeps stirring, Hey, Paula. Hey, Felicia. Hey, Alice. Hey, Brandy. How are you today? Hello, Patricia. Yeah, mostly the starfish I see have been bigger. These are tiny. You know, they're, you can see kind of how tiny they are in my hand, but they possibly could have them at the bottom. Do you scrape your bottom? Like, no, I don't do that, Madison. That sounds like a Richard comment. You've been hanging around Richard too much, or either Richard's on your phone. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Deb. Hey, Patty. So we're going to keep stirring until somebody tells me to stop. Richard Cooper is banned from your phone. <laughs> I understand. Uh, David Holcomb is also banned from my phone uh, for doing similar things texting people like it was me and saying things that I felt was inappropriate. <laughs> so time is up. So we stirred our resin for three minutes. I'm going to move this up here and I'm going to divvy out three different cups and color. Okay. I only want a tiny bit of white. So I'm only going to put a little bit of white in this cup. I mean, a little bit of resin in this cup. That'll be my white. That ended up being like, I don't know, it's hard to see, an eighth of an ounce. So then I will put a little bit more in here and a little bit in here. And then I'm gonna save some for just in case. Okay, I'm gonna just set this aside for just in case. Okay. <sighs> okay, Judy, let me answer that when we are done, okay? So I don't have any baby coffee sticks in my big uh, stick and my big stir will not work well in these baby cups. So I'm gonna use just this plastic, um, this plastic, palette knife. My brain is just gone. I'm going to use this plastic palette knife to stir because I can clean that off easily. So I'm going to first do my dark color, which is acrylic paints, deep midnight blue. And I'm literally going to put one drop. Let me see how big my drop is. And then I'll tell you about how much. So that much, I would say a quarter teaspoon. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up and make sure it's nice color. Oh, that's perfect, but I do want it to be opaque, so I'm gonna do a little test on, I want it to hide the brown background of, 
Okay, so I think I need just one more tiny little dot of color. So I'm gonna take it again, and you cannot add too much because it, the, it will <clears throat> thicken up the uh, resin and, it, and then it'll like turn into blobs. So we'll stir that in really nicely. My girl Karen has it all. I hear you. So that's much better, I can tell. All right, so I'm gonna wipe that off. We'll set that aside. And the next one we're gonna do is Anita's Island Green. It's a really nice, uh, I think food color will be uh, translucent as well, Felicia. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna put about the same in here. See how much? We'll stir that in and then check the opacity. I've never used food coloring. Uh, I don't know if that is a water base. You know, it's, if it's just color and water, and resin and water don't mix, so that is something you would have to check on. All right, let me check the opacity of this. Feels like it needs another droplets. I don't want this color to get lost in the dark blue. I am gonna add one more drop. So basically two drops in there, three drops in here. Just let it drip, drip. Yeah, do it on a small scale so you don't waste a lot of resin. So we'll mix that up really nicely. So we have like a navy deep sea blue and we have a kind of a teal ocean blue and now we're gonna do white. So the white I just have a tiny amount of because I don't really, I'm only using that for my sea foam. So you don't need a lot of that. And so I gotta really be careful I don't put too much Matter of fact, I don't wanna to put too much in there, so I'm gonna just squirt some in here, and then I'll dip it off with my spoon, with my palette. So basically, that tiny amount is what I'm adding. And this is about an eighth of an ounce of resin. And these are, hang on, I'll tell you after I mix this. I need a teeny bit more, I can tell already, because that is really, translucent still, and I don't want the white to disappear in the color. So I'm gonna scoop up a little bit more. You want it to be opaque, okay? So we'll put it on something, and here's what I'm gonna do. Just to show you the, how it should look, I'm gonna pull some blue tape off. That'll really show the opacity of these colors. So I'm gonna put it, it probably won't show, <laughs> show the blue blues, but let's see. Need a little bit more whites. And then we'll check the opacity on this blue tape. You want it to still be white. Okay, so let's try it. It's still pretty sheer, but I'm really kind of afraid to mix much more in. I'm gonna get just a teeny smidge because then it'll start getting gunky. We don't wanna do that. All right. So now let's, it's a little bit better. Let's check this one. That's nice and opaque. Can't tell on that blue tape. I'm gonna move it before I make a mess. Okay, so now is, it's go time. <laughs> okay, so I have a little bit of clear left in my cup and I'm actually gonna start with a little bit of clear on, well, I got resin on my bowl, so I'm gonna probably have to do a fingertip of resin everywhere. Uh, so I'm gonna start with a little resin on one end of my bowl, just a smidge, so that the other colors don't run in this area and ruin where I wanna put my glass and stuff. All right, 
All right, so down here, I'm going to put the darker blue. And I'm gonna straighten it up a little on the edges. Just don't want it to be really crickety. Probably easier to do it that way. All right, now I'm gonna add my teal right to the center and we'll let it all run that way and that way and here's what i'm going to do is take my little stick or whatever you're using and you want to kind of blend those into each other so pull some of the teal up some of the blue down. Should have done it long ways, but that's all right. Now, a little bit of blue on top of that. I'm gonna actually add a good bit of it. <clears throat> I want it to be thick. I don't want it to just be shallow, so. Bring it down. All right, kind of blend some into the other. Try not to drip on the side of my bowl. Now, ooh, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna actually do this down here as well. Just kind of blend it in. I want my shells to show. So I'm just gonna kind of blend some of that in. Then we'll take white and make sure it's not drippy. You wanna just get it on your stick and where it's not dripping so it doesn't drip where you don't want it to. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just add some right here at the seashore. Then I'm gonna add some here where our other two colors kinda of hit each other. And just a few little squiggles here and there. And a little bit more on the end. All right, now I'm gonna try this again. I'm just gonna turn it and let it flow. Make sure you don't have your hair in your face. See, I don't quite have an, I'm, I'm digging this much better, but I don't quite have enough white, I don't think, and I think that I blew a little too much. I need a straw. I'm trying to keep it off from dripping. Much better on a larger scale, I can tell you that. It's doing a little teeny baby things is <laughs> super hard for me. So, we'll add a little bit more. Then I'm gonna grab a straw. I do have a straw. right in the center here. I'm just futzing, guys. No plan, Not, no clue what I'm doing. Just futzing, so. All right, I have a straw. So I'm gonna use my straw to blow my resin kind of where I want it. So, oh, that table's crooked. Turn it this way. My table's not level right here. 
and it's driving me crazy. All right, not really completely happy with the way that is. Yeah, you could tip it back and forth, but I want it to be more linear than it is, but we may have to just go with what it is. I think the bowl, <laughs> the bowl is more shallow on that one end and uh, everything wants to flow down there. So we are going to just work with that. See how it's all moving towards the back? Because it's probably higher. The bowl is actually higher. I don't think my table's bad. I'm gonna turn it around. All right. All right, so before I do anything else, I'm gonna hit this with a torch and I'm just gonna hit it two seconds, okay? Just to pop any, are you blowing with me, Karen? Just to pop any air bubbles and kind of help meld those colors together. One, two. You don't wanna like put it on your piece too long. Yeah, that end is definitely more shallow because um, I can see it flowing back because you don't wanna burn your um, piece, okay? So I gotta find something to level that out. Definitely wants to flow that way. And it's the bowl, not my table. So I think we're good. So now I think we're safe to add a few things. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this glove off, is add a little bit of glass. I'll show you this close up and personal too. So I'm gonna add just a few little small chunks of glass here and there. I don't want any great big pieces. All right, then I'm going to add a couple of these shells that I brought. Do you love this one? I think it's a little big, but I think we're gonna go for it. And what we may do is, uh, once this is dry tomorrow, I may come back and pour a thin coat of clear on top. So we've got a couple of stones. I wanna tuck in here and there. And then I want to use one of these starfish. And I've only used half of my resin. I've only used half of it. So you could get away with an ounce or less of resin. And I'm actually going to pour some of that clear right over my little starfish. And my, my uh, glass. We'll just let it meld in to the bowl. Try not to drip where I don't want resin to drip. Get it on the little baby starfish. This is kinda, I like this, I can tell you right now, Without a doubt, I like this much better than the one we did with alcohol ink. I feel like the colors blend better. The colors uh, pop better using the acrylics. Set that aside. And I think I'm gonna put a couple more pieces. <laughs> uh, the blues were uh, midnight blue and island green. 
I'm gonna put a couple more little pieces of glass because that's me, the glass girl. And last but not least, I'm gonna take a smidge of this white on the tip of my brush or my palette and put it right on the edge of these pieces. The little shell and the glass. Then we're gonna hit it with heat really quick one more time. There we go. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'll grab my heat and we may actually have enough Did you see my starfish smoke? Okay, let me show you this up close. Way better. Let me see if I can show you. See how much better that is? You can see the colors. You can see the dark blue. You can see the teal. You can see all the colors so much nicer when you use an opaque than you uh, than the translucent um, thing. So let me put this over here. I'm going to put, take that with it so it doesn't run or it runs improperly or properly. I'm going to go ahead and try to do this one. I don't think I have enough. Let me mix in a little more color. I think I have enough of that one. We'll try to do this one too. We may uh, clear resin them all. Let's see. Blue in here, just a dab. Oh, I need to put my gloves back on. And white in here. Where'd my white go? I'm a hot mess today. I need to put this in the cup because I know I'm going to squirt too much out. So two blues and a white is all you need. You scoop some of that in. I had a teeny bit of blue on my blade. We're gonna do it again. All right, so I'm gonna start with my darker blue, and I'm just gonna go like on one side of the bowl, and I'm gonna dump all of it out. Let me see, I need to scrape it. All right, push it around a little. All right, then we're gonna dump this blue. I know you can't hardly see what I'm doing because my hand's in the way, but <clears throat> I really need to put my gloves on. I'm about to make a mess. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of blend those together a little. All right. It's kind of like when you do a pour. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of that clear to the other side and then we'll add some whites. <clears throat> and some shells and some things. All right, so there's my clear. This stuff's a hot mess. White. 
I'm gonna put it right in that divider line between the two blue colors. And a couple other places. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few things before I do the white at the bottom. Just fussing, guys, just fussing. Can you see the inside of the bowl? Is that better? So I'm gonna put a couple of these shells and stones and a few little pieces of glass. I actually have some blue glass. I think I'm gonna use two. So go in a few pieces of glass right up to the edge. I have a little bit of Pacific blue on the table. <laughs> We'll just dot in a couple of those. I want to flip that. Piece of glass. There. And I do have some of this crushed shell, shell I got from Michael's in a big container. It was, it's in the, um, Floral department, it doesn't have a price on this, but it wasn't expensive. So I'm just gonna to toss in a few of those, kind of where I want them in the clear around. And last but not least, we're gonna throw in another starfish. And then we're gonna use the remaining of our, I really need my gloves on, the remaining of our Clear to cover all that stuff I just added. Then we'll add our whites. I can't hardly see. I gotta turn it this way for a sec. I'm trying to look over my head. So I'm just covering up the little pieces I just added. We'll save a little bit of that clear in case I need it. All right, now going back to the white. And I'm gonna put the white all the way around the border between my shells and my color. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on, you don't want it drippy, and just kind of run it along the edge. This didn't turn out to be too much of a disaster after all. Glad to know that. It was a toss up. I wasn't sure. Could have done anything. Anything could have happened. <laughs> anything. I need to find a larger one and we need to just do one on a larger scale because I feel like uh, that would be better for me. All right, so I'm gonna take my straw and I'm gonna gently blow the white in the direction I want it to go. I'm gonna hold it up a little closer. Don't blow it hard or you're gonna just blow it all away. That one turned out really nice. Check that out. I love the way that one turned out. The shells are kind of sticking up, so if you wanted it to be super flat and smooth, you probably would want to put another clear coat over the top. I'm gonna clean up this mess before I get in it. To uh, clear coat over the top of resin, before you finish or after this dries, come back with just uh, one clear layer of resin over the top to smooth it out. Uh, but I like that. This side's gonna dry smooth. Let me pull this one back over here so you can see it. That one is looking good. I need to get this where, I, where it's supposed to be. So check those out. Can you see those well? 
at all. So here is the little round. And here is the little oblong. I'm digging that. It's going on my bathroom counter. Uh, I don't know. This bowl, let me check, is seven inches by four, and that is a four inch round. That is a four inch square. So here's what we did.